This box is totally destroyed. It's destroyed because neither of us wanted to use it. Yep. Today, we are reviewing First Endurance Liquid Shots. Welcome to Saturday, Dr. Alex Harrison, Michelle Howe, Certified Specialist in Sport Dietetics. So First Endurance was founded by Mike Fogarty, and this company prides themselves in being scientifically validated. I found out online today while looking into this that... <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. I'm just, I find it funny. What's funny? That they pride themselves on science. And the internet told me that... <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. Should we tell the people yeah, that you're trying to be less cynical? I just, I was trying to be less cynical. I went into this video thinking, okay, I need to stop being so cynical. I'm just so cynical on YouTube when I'm reviewing these products. And then I saw this, I'm like, I can't do it. I can't. This is... I think people want an honest review. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. Mike Fogarty founded this company and they wanted to be scientifically validated. And the internet said that the company or the founder has known Rally Cycling, it's a pro cycling team's uh, staff and riders for a long time. And I felt bad for Rally Cycling. I'll straight up say it. I felt bad for them. What's the top reason you don't want to use this product? Number one, that just hits you right in front. Um, well, there's no fructose in here for one thing. Bingo. Let's go over the nutrition facts. Alex, would you like to do the honors on the nutrition facts first? Practicing my de-escalation skills. <laughs> nutrition facts, supplement facts. They did the thing where they don't actually list the ingredients. They only say other ingredients and then they bury all the actual ingredients in the supplement label part where they give the percentages and all that. So we have maltodextrin glucose blend for 28 grams of carbohydrates. That means all of the carbohydrate are coming from maltodextrin and glucose. And maltodextrin is? Glucose in a long string basically. Perfect. So maltodextrin is a bunch of glucoses stuck together. And you can watch our video on that. It's our most popular video. Then we have no fiber. That's actually a win. That's a win. That's good. I mean, uh, props to that for not Total sugars mean, and they indicate in parentheses, just glucose is eight grams. So we've got, now we know they have 20 grams of maltodextrin and eight grams of glucose, which are essentially one and the same thing to your body. They just break down in your gut and you're getting just glucose, 28 grams of straight glucose. And since this isn't 1995, when we thought glucose was the only fuel that you should consume during exercise, Size, this is no longer scientific. And then you'll see there's zero grams of protein. Great. And then you want to hit us with what's below the that big black bar there? Yes. What's below the protein? Calcium, magnesium, chloride, sodium, and potassium. And let's see, which one do they have the most of? Sodium, that's good. Well, and more chloride because they chose sodium table salt instead of uh, sodium citrate. You're getting the chloride just from the okay. sodium chloride. Okay. So okay. all the chloride in the product is just from NaCl. Oh, it doesn't matter. The sodium source doesn't matter in this product because you can only take two of these an hour because then otherwise you'll get glucose overload. And so the maximum sodium that you could possibly get from this, even if you have an iron gut and could handle three, which most of you won't be able to, 225 milligrams per hour, but for most of us, 150 milligrams per hour. So this is not an adequate sodium source at all. Uh, so if you're going to use these gels, not only can you not all get all your carbs from it, you can't get anywhere near even a helpful amount of sodium from them. We have the sodium potassium ratio there, which is 75 milligrams of sodium and 40 milligrams of potassium per gel. That potassium amount is more than half the sodium amount, which is never a good thing. But again, they're both so low, it's essentially trace and it doesn't even matter. But if you're going to do sodium and potassium in your product, at least make sodium like four to one the potassium or 10 to one the potassium, because what you really need for hydration is sodium, not potassium. Watch our video on the things you don't need in your supplement. We have citric acid, malic acid. Oh, we missed all the other things you don't need, oh. calcium and magnesium. So you definitely don't need 20, this, oh, this is terrible actually. You don't need calcium and magnesium at all in gel, but if you're gonna have one of them, you might wanna pick calcium, but that doesn't matter either because if you're gonna be consuming a glucose only source, you're not gonna make it the 20 hours you need to get hypocalcemic. So you don't need, you don't need calcium at all. And you certainly don't need a five to one ratio, no, oh my gosh, a three and a half to one ratio, 3.75 to one ratio of sodium to calcium. Calcium is not that important. It's like super edge case important. You should have like 10 to one, 20 to one, 30 to one sodium to calcium ratio. Yep, citric acid, malic acid, and then other ingredients, water and natural flavor. And that's what you get. So let's go ahead and look at the use directions. Consume one packet as needed to maintain performance. I have a problem with this. Consume one packet as needed to maintain performance. Folks, if you're waiting until you start feeling bad to take one of these, you're already so far gone. You should be on top of your nutrition so that you don't start feeling bad ever. You know, you might start feeling bad if you're like at VO2 max or FTP for an hour. Yeah, you're gonna be tired, but I'm sorry. Like even then you shouldn't be waiting until 
you start feeling bad to fuel. Correct. Yeah. If you feel like you need a gel and then you take the gel and you feel better, you're like miles behind on fueling. And then it says isotonic contains no fructose. Okay. Well, we already talked about the problem with not having fructose. And then isotonic, Alex, you want to, you want to talk about that? Yeah, that's just a buzzword. Let's not beat it to death today. Yeah. Okay. So let's go ahead and look at the package. There was actually some more information on the package that this will, or the box. It's totally destroyed. Okay. Increases energy and prevents cramping. Hmm. Well, not with that sodium to potassium ratio. It's a little runny. They're called liquid shots. <laughs> they are liquid shots. That's a the shot. Tr truthful <laughs> statement. <laughs> Almost dribbled. <laughs> You're wearing a white shirt. I know. <laughs> well, it's white, so I'd be okay. okay. <laughs> it... Oh. <laughs> Should we show the camera? Yuck. Not appetizing. All right. So then we have, let's see. You see it? No, I know. It looks like spoiled milk, just like curdling. And... That's very generous. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it actually tastes good. Technologically advanced racing fuel. The 110 calorie supercharged liquid shot formula is designed to give you quick energy when you need it most. They're isotonic, so they refuel working muscles fast while allowing you to maintain a high level of intensity without the stomach distress. Plus, they have a thin consistency and deliver all five electrolytes to prevent cramping and dehydration. Yeah, that's great marketing. Good job. I mean, they're okay. They're not the worst. I mean, it's just disappointing. I feel like this could be a really great product, but... There's just a really? few things that are just really <laughs> just two out of three. Well, I, okay, so <laughs> so what what would this what would this company need to do to make this better? Number one, they need to add fructose. That's the first problem I see. Number two, they need to have some more sodium, and they need to have some sodium, hopefully at least from sodium citrate. What else? Uh, get rid of all of the electrolytes like calcium and magnesium and what else was in here in the short the thing this product did well is they included glucose what they did wrong was virtually everything else i mean they made the flavor pretty okay, okay i would say good. the flavor is it's not like great like i'm not excited to take this based on the flavor I actually do. I like it a lot. Oh, you like it? Oh, yeah. Okay. But the three like primary things that you want in your fuel sources and your electrolyte sources are glucose, fructose, and sodium in a reasonable concentration. They got a yes, a no, and a not useful. Yeah, and they have a lot of chloride too, and then that would be decreased too if they just replaced some of the sodium chloride with sodium citrate. Yeah, okay, so how would you use this in draining? If I had a lifetime supply for free, I would take these along with pure sugar and salt or sodium citrate in my bottle. So I would not be using anything else that could possibly add glucose, absent fructose, to my mix overall. Common problem people will get into is if they use this with another thing that overdoes the glucose a little bit, it's like you are gonna have glucose overload if you consume anywhere near what's actually an optimal amount of carbohydrate for your exercise. It really blows my mind how this company <laughs> claims to be really scientific and you have a lot of other companies that don't really claim that and they're actually nailing a lot more than this company. This company is missing the mark. Let's sign off with don't be fooled by the word scientific on a product. And isotonic, that's, again, it's on all of the science products now, and it's just... There is virtually no correlation between the word scientific being present on a product and the actual science that backs that product. Like, honestly, hit the Walmart sugar aisle, and that's more scientific, and your body likes that more, and you'll perform better on that than this. That is the honest-to-goodness truth. I don't know if Rally uses these or if the founder just knows Rally, but... They do. I've but, seen Rally at bike races having first endurance bottles. That means that Rally is actually a lot better than they're performing. How about this? If you're using first endurance as your primary fuel source and hydration source for your training and racing, you probably have more potential than you even realize, which is exciting. Until next time. <laughs>